Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the JV Money Show. I'm JV. Today we're going to be looking at this giant mess of Nikola Motors. Uh, I've been kind of, I've been following them since for a while now and I've, I've been watching the videos, following them and kind of seeing, not kind of, I've been seeing that these guys are in my eyes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think that they're a real company like they haven't sold anything he in his interviews he's talking about how he's he's they 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 make the best batteries and he's competing he's better than he's beating elon at his own game but he hasn't produced or made anything so i've been so frustrated about this i had to, I had to make a video and this whole thing with this um hindenburg uh, article that came out saying oh my gosh saying all the all the things that what kind of a lot of um, YouTubers have been saying for a while about all the all the fraudulent stuff that they've been doing, how he's he says in interviews that he's producing all this solar energy from the solar panels on the roof. And then someone took a drone up there and it's also on on Google Maps. There's no solar panels on the roof of his of his of the headquarters. So he just all these lies just kept building up and building up. And um, he had a response on instagram which is probably not the best advice to do so he had this response on the 11th and then he they have like a, a newer response so let's just watch this i'm not gonna really do that much we're just gonna react to this video let's see what he says hey what's up everyone so first of all you know i never take any bullshit um i come straight at everything i ever have done never back down on anything and whenever someone says something like oh your truck is total fake I instantly ran out to our vehicle, pulled it up, and drove that son of a bitch in front of everyone running alongside of it. You guys have seen the videos of that. So this one's a little bit different. Um, I, I want to first of all let everyone know that I'm incredibly pissed off too. I don't, uh, I don't enjoy seeing you guys get hurt, and I don't enjoy seeing what's going on. It hurts me. It hurts people that I know. It hurts people that follow me and families. Um, I want you to know first and foremost that um, I'm pissed and I understand that you guys are too. There's certain times as a leader where you just get shit on, just completely shit on and you have to take it. There's nothing you can do for a few days. That's it. You just have to sit there as others harm you and then use that as an excuse to say, Oh, look, he's full of shit. He's a liar. He's a fraud, whatever, because he's not, he's not responding. Well, listen, I mean, Oh my God, this is going to be so interesting. When the, when it all comes out, like he's, I don't know, I don't know what I can say or not, but I'm just gonna say it. Like he's, he's such, I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> wow. Does he believe what he's saying, or does he know that he's screwed? There's so many red flags with him. Um, selling like $53 million of worth of shares or something. And, and he bought this gigantic mansion and he hired his brothers to be like, or his, his family members to be like, to do something in the company that they've never done before. And he's saying in interviews that he has, he's assembled this dream team of people. And it's just lie after lie and shady thing after shady thing. It's just completely unbelievable what's going on and to see him like this just it's very strange it reminds me of that that there was that girl that this woman that made this uh 3d printed i don't know 3d printed some kind of like blood testing thing and she lowered her voice on purpose it, she was she was it was very strange if you watch it now and she like never blinked and she like talked like this and she was um and then it got exposed that that it was all like it was pretty much all a lie. So I think the same thing is happening with with Nicola. I think there's going to be documentaries and maybe a movie, probably just documentaries on the whole collapse of of Nicola. And it's going to be I don't know. This is kind of hard to watch. And there's a lot more at play at this. OK, so first of all, we went directly to the SEC um, and we provided a formal call with them we've been over it this morning already we let them know we went to them they didn't come to us we let them know about all the allegations we you know we went through it all they're aware of of uh, some of the reports and the information 
but we went through the different information about us and we're providing them a whole entire packet and docket. And ultimately what we found was some really bad shit by this uh, person who's uh, created the report. And this is what he does. Look, this, how he makes his money. He lives on the borderline. Okay. So what he does, he gives you a little bit of, a little bit of like some truth from some employee that has no bearing or importance or guys that guy is short on or whatever. Tesla, and he mixes though. it in. Sorry, with I'm all Nicola. these lies and he says, see, he's a liar. He's a fraudster. So therefore, so therefore, because I mixed a little truth in over here in this one thing, all the rest of these things are true, and we know that's that's not. Um, they're lies. Every single thing in there was bullshit. Um, I have all the rebuttals done. It drives me nuts that I can't send them out to you guys. But um, look, I want you to know that it sucks. It hurts. I know. I'm super. I'm super mad, and there's nothing I can do about it for a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so everything was lies. It's not in my hands. It's in the hands of the attorneys in the SEC. So let them do their part for just a little bit. I know it's going to hurt, but when we come out of it, everyone will be like, listen, for my language, fuck those people. They're shitty people. All this was lies, and it was slander against Nikola to make hundreds or tens of millions of dollars of profit on short selling. But I can tell you right now that they are lies. 99% of them are all lies. There's a little bit of truth mixed <laughs> in there when it comes to like. Wait, wait, wait. He said they're all lies, and then he said 99% of them are all lies. So <laughs> it's like that. I forget. There was a movie. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> they're all lies. 99% of them are lies. So he can he can show us, like, right now. Go to the roof. Show us the solar panels. Show us that you're producing this much energy. And there's one thing, and he was saying that he makes they're the, the North America's biggest uh, hydrogen uh, refinery that they have and they're using the solar panels to make and then that doesn't exist either so there is a bunch of lies like he is lying and he's saying that they're 100 percent it was all lies and then oh he said 99 percent of them are all lies <laughs> so that does this is i don't know there's a lot of lies and we're gonna see how this is gonna play out i'm really excited to see disgruntled employees or whatever no doubt we got some people that you know we had to fire and they're bad people they're just bad people but they're not telling the whole story so i will you just got to give me a little bit and uh if i could do it right now i'd hit that damn button and i'd do it but ultimately it would be more damaging to everyone even though it would reverse things right now it'd be more damaging for everyone in the long run because of the fact that we need to bring these people to we need to hold, hold them responsible and for the company's purpose we need to attack one time very clear with clear precise answers with evidence with backup with emails with copies of documents of contracts everything you can think you know those things need to be in there and done right and they have to be approved so i just want to let you guys uh, know that this morning i won't be i'm not going to be on as much as i am um you know, answering questions. I'll just have to be brief and that's all I can do right now. So hope that helps you guys uh, understand wow. where I'm coming from. So you don't think I'm just ignoring you. And I also, I recently heard that right after that, he deleted like three or four months of tweets on Twitter. So it's just like really shady stuff has been happening with this guy ever since the beginning. Like I, I, I've been seeing a lot of Nikola videos pop up on Instagram. I mean, on, uh, on YouTube. If you follow Tesla and um, you're going to see a lot of these Nikola things and it's been it's been it's been out for a while. Like a lot of uh, Tesla YouTubers and people that follow Tesla YouTubers know this have been suspicious of Nikola. And what I think what drove the stock price up is people are looking for that cheap Tesla. The, the, if Tesla was way too expensive for them to get in at fifteen hundred two two thousand dollars a share and they saw nicola and they're like oh this is a cheap stock i can get in early and it's similar to tesla where they're making hydrogen instead of and battery like later on they're like yeah we're making batteries too so but first there was natural gas so people are like let me get in for this it's really cheap uh maybe i could you know i won't miss it just like i miss tesla so they want to get in but they didn't do their research and see that Nikola hasn't produced anything. In one of the videos, the truck video, one of the, <laughs> I heard this too. They had this truck, they're the semi 
pretty uh, pretty nice looking video of the semi driving down the road but it turns out that the the they just they drove they they towed it to the top of this hill and they let it roll down the hill because it wasn't a functioning truck and then in the editing they 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 they, they edited out the the hill <laughs> so it was just rolling down the hill so it's just all of these things stacking up on top of each other and apparently he was saying he creates a certain amount of megawatts of solar power on his roof that power the refinery. And there was a video where they did the math on it and it doesn't it doesn't work. Even if they used his whole pro- the whole property of the headquarters, the parking lots and all the surrounding areas of solar panels, it still wouldn't produce enough energy that he said. And then there was two different interviews of him and he 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 said two different megawatt hours. And, and there is no solar panels. <laughs> They're not producing any nitrogen. And there's no solar panels. So this, he just keeps on lying and lying. And it's just, oh, man, this is such a train wreck. And, uh, man, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think of this? Is there any Nikola fans? Like, uh, at first when I saw this, I was like, oh, they're hi-. I was always skeptical of hydrogen because hydrogen means you have to, you have to make more, you have to make stations, you have to dig, you have to put uh, and get transported there with with electric cars. There's there's plugs and electricity everywhere. That infrastructure is already done. But with nitrogen, it's kind of like starting over with gasoline again, like putting all the, the stations everywhere and digging the ground and and transporting the, the trucks and producing it and that whole thing. So I was like, Electric cars are so much more, I don't know. For me, it was, I was always suspicious. I I wanted another competitor to Tesla because the more electric cars, the better, you know, so for the environment, for everyone. But Nikola just turned out to be just a big mess, man. They are, I I can't believe this is happening. I thought it was going to take longer for this, for this to happen, but it's happening now. And I wonder if they, if he actually came out with anything. So let me know in the comments. Has he responded? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my own research and check it out. But I just wanted to quickly drop this video for you guys. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, check out the Patreon if you like this channel and you want to get early access to videos and uh, exclusive content. I'll post over there as well. It also helps support the show. So uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out of here. Peace.